The Krista Moore House Family Community Center's boxing program is making its return to the national spotlight. And that's all thanks to a coach with a passion to bring back a tradition in three talented fighters. When I walk into this atmosphere in the Krista Moore House, I see jab, cross, uppercut. But Coach Jeffrey Jones sees something else. Family, community, and just serving, you know, giving back. A safe space for young people in the neighborhood. I used to box here when I was a kid, and uh, I just really wanted to get it back going. It had been there for about a couple years. But now, boxing is back. I didn't really think it was going to be what it is right now, and it's just the fact that, you know, it's in the early stages, like we've been less than six months. And thanks to three young prospects, they're looking at a promising future. Soon they'll all step into the ring and put Chris Moore House on the national stage. But they all seem pretty calm about it. I'm a hard worker, and I'm just ready to show everybody what I got. You nervous? Nah. Not nervous? Why, why are you not nervous? Why you feel you're not nervous? Because it's just another day in the office. All business. We're talking about silver gloves, man. This, this, this is a little bit of a big deal. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Meet Tony Walker, the oldest of the trio, a multi-sport athlete who was looking to make a pivot. I was just looking for something new to try, and you know, I don't know, boxing just came up, I don't know. It's just something exhilarating about the fact that you can get in there, you know, like one-on-one -on -one with the person, and it's, you know, there's nothing you can do until the bell rings, you know. So it's like whatever goes on, goes on. He credits the coaches with keeping him on his toes, especially that one. A lot of things that helps is my dad is in the corner too. Speaking of coaches giving you confidence. <laughs> I look at him as the next Mike Tyson. Wow, that's, that's, uh, big, uh, that's big praise. <laughs> it's big praise, but when you have a 13 year old kid hurting grown men. And in his 40 years of boxing experience, he feels more than qualified to make the comparison. You beat somebody in 21 seconds, is that true? Yeah. I feel like I can take you. But there was something his coach said that just didn't sit right with me. You know, I got to ask the tough questions, Jeff. When it comes to Zion, rumor has it that, that he's 13, but I don't know if I believe that. I don't know if I fully believe that this kid is 13. Tell, tell me the truth. Can you give us the truth? Yeah, he's 13. People still lying to me. And finally, the kid they call Little Joe. Does he look little to you? Little Joe? What type of, what type of mind games are they playing here? Little, little Joe. While I dig a little deeper into this nickname controversy, the boys prepare to head to the Silver Gloves Boxing Tournament, hoping to restore a rich reputation. Bring Hallville back up. You know what I'm saying? Christopher House was, was a dynasty in boxing. I'm trying to bring it back. We already making strides. None of the three boys are the trash talking type, but they're all going to Missouri with one mindset. It's strictly business. And as for the rest, they'll let the hands do the talking. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Ha! Silver Gloves National start Thursday in Independence, Missouri. Follow Krista Morehouse on Facebook or Instagram to learn more about the program. Of course, keep up with the boys. I First of all, this is amazing. I absolutely love seeing these young men doing mm -hmm. their thing in the boxing ring. Second of all, Lil Joe looked like he would tear you up. Look, Lil Joe don't want to see me. He might. I don't <laughs> yeah. know. I'm a little scared. I don't think you want to see Luckily, Lil Joe. Luckily, you know, I told him I wore the wrong jacket, you know, uh, to, to mess with Lil Joe. It wasn't just the jacket. It was just, it was just the jacket. That's all. Uh -huh. I wasn't loose. I couldn't get loose in the jacket. You were going to be real reach. loose if you saw Lil Joe. Look, Lil Joe had a little reach on me. <laughs> you hear Zion? Zion? I got that last quote from him. I said, hey, man, uh -huh. uh, you know, you feeling confident? Mm -hmm. You know, you know, I'm thinking I'm trying to get a little trash talk out of him. What do you got to say to your opponent? Uh, your opponent? He's like, oh, I let the hands do the talking. I Listen, said, Ooh. anybody, Ooh. first of all, Zion, you cold. Second of all, uh, anybody who beats anybody within 20-something seconds, that's somebody who you don't want to mess with. Yeah, and oh. you know what? I, I want, I still want three proofs of that birth certificate. <laughs> I, don't, I still don't believe it. There's a little controversy surrounding that kid can't be 13. Oh my goodness. <laughs> hey, best of luck to all the guys who are participating in Independence, Missouri, or Missouri, as some of them say. Oh, Missouri. Hey, I went to University of Missouri. Hmm. I've heard it all.